Hello everybody, Neil here again. I wanted to do a quick video on um, pairing Bubble with Mailer Send, which is a transactional email program that I've grown pretty fond of. Um, it's pretty simple to use. It has nice templates that you can use for your transactional emails. Um, for those of you who don't know what I mean by transactional emails, I mean um, emails that uh, could happen often with inside your app based off of certain triggers. So like, let's say a user signs up, which I'll, I'll walk through here in just a second. It will trigger a welcome email and get sent to that user welcoming them to your platform. So they, uh, Mellerson is a sister company of Meller Light. I also use that. Meller Light is a more for your email campaigns mass uh, mass uh, emailing out to um, you know let people know of updates and um, product announcements and and things of that nature uh, Mellerson is more for one-off emails to your individual users um, you can do different things with it but I use Mellerson basically for that so um, you know based off of triggers it can send them an email but anyways so let's go through it real quick. Um, like I said, I like to use Meller Send. Um, the 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 bulk of setting up Meller Send is usually on the Meller Send side. When you uh, set up your account and you register, um, it usually takes about 24 hours for you to get verified. You have to set up some DNS uh, entries and records to be able to um, direct the email flow over to them and let them handle it from there. Um, so give it about 24 hours. Uh, if you guys want me to do a more detailed walkthrough of, of the full setup with Bubble, I can most certainly do that. Just um, just let me know and I'll, I'll step through each little thing. I don't think I'll go through actually setting up a new, new account because it does take 24 hours to do that. But I'll walk you through every step of, of this account that I'm using for my Driftwind product that I'm uh, currently building. Uh, so um, this is just another video uh, for the Build in Public campaign, just to get it out there. Um, so yeah, if you guys want a more detailed video than what I'm doing a high level overview here, just let me know and I'll, you guys can DM me on Twitter or something like that and just shout out me and I'll, and I'll go ahead and do that. So let's step through it a little bit. So I've got my account fully set up. The free tier, I think lets you do 12,000 emails a month for free. So it's a very good um, free tiered program. Uh, you can run quite for quite some time on a uh, on a new product build or a startup uh, that's just an MVP or something like that for quite some time. So the thresholds and the limits are really good on the free tier. Um, so the first thing you do when you go to set up is you got to go in and you've got to verify your domain. This is where you do your DNS records and things of that nature. Um, and then once you do, you'll go into this and then you'll get an API key for authorization that you'll leverage in Bubble. Um, I personally like to use their templates just to get started for things like uh, welcoming emails like I've got here that I'm going to show you. Um, it's just easy and it takes all the effort out of it. You can definitely do more things and not use a, t a template and design your own. Uh, they have template builders. Uh, things of that nature, but uh, for this use case, I just picked a very simple um, welcome email template that they had. The good thing about uh, Miller Lite is you can pass dynamic data from your app to the template. Uh, so, you know, if you, you're emailing users, like I'm about to show you, it'll say, welcome, uh, Neil, welcome, Kevin. So you can pass those parameters from Bubble to Miller Send, and it handles it quite nicely. So um, you can see here is I've got a very simple template here that this is the dynamic data being passed in. Uh, this is basically just saying, hey, congratulations, you signed up for a Driftwind account. Uh, next step is to go ahead and log in. Um, the beauty about this is when you use a template, it actually gives you the payload that you need to put in your Bubble app in the body uh, in the API connector and you can kind of just tweak it from there and add your dynamic data and I'll show you that in bubble uh, actually some of these things are not even required like the from address they're not even really required because <clears throat> you can set these default settings in here that the template will actually use these default settings and then you don't have to put them in your your payload in your API connector in the body so like I said 
uh, high level here. If you guys need me to break it down and go more detail, just let me know. But just know they give you a lot of information to be able to easily set up your uh, your instance in Bubble. So um, the analytics are really cool in here. You can easily come in and view um, the email usage uh, going out. Um, actually, that's under activity. Um, where This is where you can see I was testing and sending a bunch of emails to myself. You can see that they're processed, queued, sent, delivered, opened. Uh, you can filter down by these types. So it's, it gives you some really good visibility into the um, full kind of life cycle of the delivery of the email, which is very important for your app. So um, you, you definitely want that visibility. Um, yeah, so that's kind of high level Mellerson real quick. And then I'll jump over to my bubble app and we'll go to the API connector where I've set up my uh, endpoint that I'm going to hit. So here it is. This is kind of the uh, the setup. This is uh, the authentication is none or self handled, and we're going to pass the token, the bearer token, in the header, and then the content type is application JSON, and then um, Mel Mellerson likes to receive this kind of XML HTTP request uh, with with the payload. So you're going to want to set this to um, you can do this two different ways. You can obviously use this as data, but more than likely you're going to use these as actions. So you can use these as steps or workflows in your, or actions in your workflows in your bubble app. Um, so a couple things I had to kind of uh, figure out was um, you've got to set the data type to empty. Here's the endpoint and, and, and Meller send documents their API pretty well. Um, so you can get these endpoints very easily. And then here's the payload that I'm sending off uh, through my workflow. And then I've inserted some dynamic data. So this will be the email to address will be uh, dynamic, obviously, because we want it to send to that user that's logging in. Uh, these are variables that get set. Uh, full name, this is another field I have in my signup form that gets passed with their full name. And then when you're using a template, you'll have to assign it a template ID. So. These are kind of the two main parameters that I'm passing right now. Obviously, you can do a lot more, uh, but for this use case, it's just really simple. So I will walk you through that real quick. Let me go back to my authentication page. Oops. And let's just simulate or uh, simulate a sign up here. So let's just say uh, Ryan Pierce, use my work address. Okay. And agree to the terms, and then sign up. And then right there, that kicked off that workflow. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Let me pull up my um, email. And there it is, the email came through. Looks like I need to adjust some border here on this. Uh, pop that out and let's download the pictures. And there you go, you get a nice uh, email template that um, looks good in, in your user's inbox. Uh, obviously, another big reason for using uh, services like Mail or Send are the delivery rate is gonna go way up uh, compared to what you, uh, you get just out of the native bubble um, SMTP server. So uh, let's look at the workflow real quick. So the workflow is real simple. So I've got a few things happening here. I'm signing up the user. And then here's my endpoint that I'm hitting to send that data and pass these parameters into the API connector, passing those through right here. So yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I really enjoy Meller Send. I think you guys would like it as well. Um, if you have any questions or you want me to do a more detailed video, just just uh, ping me on Twitter and I'll I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. Appreciate it. Bye bye.